Hello Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is James 2, 14 through 17. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anybody? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and you say goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. A few things about this passage. Number one, James isn't saying we need to earn our salvation by doing good works. And I want to make that abundantly clear. That sort of mentality creeps up on believers and God's grace is then replaced by our works. And that is a recipe for disaster. Because only God's grace can sufficiently save us. While our works, good or not, could never be enough to remove sin from our lives. So it's good practice to remind yourselves that your good works that accompany your faith are not to earn your salvation. Salvation only comes to those who believe Jesus has died for their sins and they profess with their mouth that he is Lord of their lives. And on that note, the second thing, James is saying here that those who profess Jesus as their Lord and Savior are saying that their lives and every step taken in it will be directed by God himself through the Holy Spirit. And what does that mean for you? It means that Jesus will lead you to care for those around you, especially the least of these. Or in other terms, he'll lead you to do good works. Faith is about serving others. It's about allowing God to transform your sight, your hearing, your mind, your heart, so you can better see those who are in need in this world. And then it's allowing him to empower you and encourage you to be his hands and his feet to serve those very people. You see, it's not my place to judge whether someone is saved or not, has faith or not. I can't see into a man's heart or mind, but God did give us eyes to see actions in service or lack thereof. I don't think any Christian wakes up and says, man, I can't wait to live out a dead faith without any works. What I truly think happens in, in life is that it gets busy or we can slowly become complacent, thinking that our past good works is what God intended for you and now God has nothing else for you. The truth is this, if you believe in God and you have breath in your lungs, God will and is leading you to love and serve those around you. Don't be complacent. Ask God in prayer where he wants you to serve and then listen. Don't be satisfied by telling people to have a good day and instead get them food, get them clothes, serve them. Calvary, I pray that you are are encouraged and blessed to serve those around you and do good works to accompany your faith. Have a good day. Be blessed.